There's a young man there who has been putting his up his hand for quite a while. Look, that young man right there. And then, and then, Terry, the guy in the white, who is that? Terry? Terry, okay. Okay. All right, another young man, please listen to him. Good night to everyone. Um, first and foremost, I would like to make a comment. Um, I thought the easement plan was something very good, but I was wondering if you would put, like, in each community, a social worker, uh, some historian to tell you where those mango parts are and where those running jacks are because you can't just put anybody and then they feel like, oh, I could cut out that and they don't walk around in Kayan. Very. And the next thing, my question is now, yes. um, I still don't understand what it means to be graduated um, economically. Ah. So that is like bamboozling me because... That means we can't get any grants and things of that sort. And my last question was, um, why is it she's um, Mrs. Uh, Miss Honorable Marcella Leibert said that we, they say that we are of high income, yes. but yet were we building so much low income houses they can't see? If you're building so much, so much, we're building okay. so much, I'm saying we, because it's all of us. We're building so much low-income houses, and they are still saying that we are of high income. Income, right, okay. That Let me explain. These are very, very, very important questions from a young man. Firstly, let me explain. All right, Simadon, give Terry next. Let me explain that, what graduation means. What it means really is that when they would have compared St. Kitts and Nevis with other developing countries around the world, we fall into a category of what you call middle income countries. It means that our standard of living is much, much higher than those who are called less developed countries or low-income countries. So therefore, they are saying, you are already somewhat out of poverty. Let us therefore give grants and aid to countries who have a far lower standard of living than yours. What they really use is a statistic measure called per capita income. They take everybody's income, divide it by the population, and you get what is called the per capita income. Our per capita income in St. Kitts and Nevis is nearly $10,000. Countries in the Eastern Caribbean like us are all the way down to five and four. Maybe as low as that. Don't even talk about Haiti. Maybe it is not even registered. So we are considered from our per capita income to be a middle income country. And so they have said to us, we have graduated out of what we call concessionary borrowing. So that if we were to borrow money, from the financial institutions and those are the organizations that take their cue from the international financial institutions, they will not lend us any money at low interest rate. It will go almost at commercial interest rate. That is what we mean by graduation. Now you also ask, if we are a high income country, why is it we're building low-income houses? That's the beauty. They don't believe that these affordable houses are low-income, you know. Because they're saying there are people who can't even get a house quarter of what you're building them for. You understand? So that is why we have to build these affordable houses. We can't build anything lower. A few years ago, we had a hurricane. 
and we came up with something called a half a hog egg. You know what the people them say? We don't want a half a hog egg. Give me the whole hog. So we can't build no more half a hog egg anymore. We can't do it. Because the people have said that they don't want those houses. When we got into government, we met some houses built by the Venezuelan government with the Simmons government. When you look at the quality of the houses, they were made out of fish pot and chicken wire with mortar thrown on them. We had a terrible hurricane. When was it? We had a terrible hurricane in 1998. Every single house in Lodge was destroyed and in Keon. Every single one of those Venezuelan houses was destroyed. That is why we can't afford to buy or we can't afford to build houses of that nature anymore for our people. Our people want decent houses. And that is why what we call low-income houses, the international community don't see them as low income. They think that we are giving our people proper houses. And me ain't got no excuse to give them because our people deserve proper houses. <laughs>